G'day everyone. So you're driving down the road and you witness a car accident. You decide to pull over and render assistance. Or maybe you're walking down a mall and you witness an elderly person fall on the ground. You conduct your primary survey, your doctors A, B, C and D. And you also take care of any immediate management. So what's next? Well, you want to know what's going on with your patient. And sometimes we can be met under really stressful environments. Loud noises, bystanders, foot traffic, car traffic. And so we need to have the right systems in place so when we're under stress, we can still do what we need to do. And one of those really great acronyms when it comes down to history taking is the acronym SAMPLE. I'm, and I'm gonna go through this really, really briefly. So S stands for signs and symptoms. For signs, what do you see? Do you see any blood? Do you see any bruising? Do you see a rash? What's the patient's skin color look like? You wanna look at your patient's symptoms. What are they feeling? Do they feel a headache? Do they feel nauseated? What's their pain score out of 10? You then wanna look at A, allergies. What's the patient allergic to? This is very important before you give any treatment so you don't give the patient what they're not supposed to have. You then look at M for medications and P for past history. Paint a really good picture for yourself. Know what's going on with the patient. Are they a diabetic? Do they have any respiratory conditions? Have they had a heart attack in the past? Could their past history be directly related to what's going on right now? You then look at last meal. When did the patient have their last meal? And when was the last time they went to the bathroom? You then look at E for events leading up. How did we get here? What's the mechanism of injury? What are the circumstances that led to what's going on right now? Was the patient running a marathon? Are they hypothermic? So on and so forth. This information provides a really good basis for your treatment and for your ongoing management until paramedics arrive. And also, when we have incoming services arrive, like your par paramedics, firefighters, or even that off-duty doctor who wants to help, and you give them this, this is gold for them. So keep at it, uh, practice your sample, practice your primary survey. Thank you for listening and stay safe.